Welcome classic rock fans. Well, it's finally here. The details of Pink Floyd's 50th anniversary of Dark Side of the Moon. It comes in a wallet busting, humongous box set packed with CDs, swag and vinyl. I will read to you the details of what's actually in this box set and we can go through it piece by piece and try and ascertain or not whether or not we uh, actually want to uh, shell out for this one. So let me just read to you the, some of the blurb here. The new deluxe box set includes CD and gatefold vinyl of the newly remastered studio album and Blu-ray plus DVD audio featuring the original 5.1 mix and remastered stereo versions. This set also includes additional new Blu-ray disc of Atmos mix plus CD and LP of the Dark Side of the Moon live at Wembley, Empire Pool, London, 1974. Let's go through the goodies here. What does the box include? Well, the box includes CD1. Now, CD1 is Dark Side of the Moon 50th Anniversary 2023 Master, remastered by James Guthrie in gatefold sleeve with 12-page booklet. That's CD1, okay? CD2 includes Dark Side of the Moon Live at Wembley Empire Pool, London 74, mixed by Andy Jackson. In gatefold sleeve, a 12-page booklet covered design by Aubrey Powell, Hypnosis and Peter Cousin at Storm Studio. Original 1973 line-drawn cover artwork by George Hardy. LP1, Dark Side of the Moon 50th Anniversary 2023 Remaster, Remastered Original Stereo Studio Album, sorry. 180 gram heavyweight, one LP in gatefold sleeves with original posters and stickers. LP2, Dark Side of the Moon, live at Wembley and Pool, London. Um, as I've just said, uh, 180 grams of vinyl, one LP in gatefold with two posters featuring designs by Ian Eames and Gerald Scarf, believe it or not. Cover design by Aubrey Powell Hypnosis. I think the, the Gerald Scarf design would be interesting to see. Uh, and again, also the original 1973 line drawn cover artwork by George Hardy. And we go on to Blu-ray 1 audio. Original album 5.1 in high resolution remastered stereo mixes. 5.1 surround sound, 24 bit 96 gig, uh, kilohertz, sorry, uncompressed. Uh, two stereo mix, 24 bit 19, 192 kilohertz, uncompressed. 5.1 surround mix, DTS HDMA. And four stereo mix, DTS HDMA. And Blu-ray 2 audio. Original remastered, newly remastered album, Atmos and high resolution stereo mixes, Dolby Atmos mix stereo mix and uh, 24 bit 192 hertz um, and DTS HDMA. DVD audio, original album, 5.1 remastered stereo mixes, 5.1 surround mix, Dolby digital, 5.1 surround mix, stereo mix, 24 bit 48 kilohertz. The 5.1 surround mix is Dolby Digital 640 um, kbps and the 5.1 surround mix Dolby Digital 440 kbps. 160 page Thames and Hudson hardcover book with rare, I mean I've spoken about this before, but this is the rare black and white photographs from 1973 and 74 tours of the UK and the USA taken by Josh Manoskovsky, Manoskovsky, so I can't even read that, and Peter Christofferson, Aubrey Poundstone Thorgerson, 76 page music book, complete songbook of original album, replicas of two, here comes some of the swag, replicas of two seven inch singles, seven inch single one money and any color you like and seven inch single of us and them and time. Plus replica of pamphlet and invitation to the preview of the dark side of the moon at the London planetarium on the 27th of February, 1973 of which none of the band actually turned up to, only um, Richard Wright, if I'm not mistaken. So, uh, you know, if you get the track listing, of course, track listing disc one is the um, 2023 remaster of, um, of Dark Side. I mean, it is just a remaster, not a remix. Disc two is the Live at Wembley, which, if I'm not mistaken, actually was released on the Immersion box set, which came before. Um, if I'm not mistaken, and if so, then there's nothing there that uh, picks my interest at all. Disc three, speak to me. As these are all different versions of the album, the Atmos mix, and the live version Atmos mix. Mix, sorry. Um, live at Wembley. Disc nine. Disc nine. Disc ten. 
10 to set, just 12, us and them edit, and 12, that's the, they're the singles, I think. Anyway, so let's see how much Amazon are asking for this. It's a absolute snip at 250 pounds and 99 pence. This comes in a nice black box set, as you can imagine. Anyway, so there we have it. That's the humongous box set. It's, uh, to be honest with you, I will just be sticking with my immersion box set because at least with that, I've got some marbles. This um, doesn't offer much as far as I'm concerned. I don't have surround sound. I don't have access to all the uh, DTS and 5.1 mixes. Um, so a lot of it would be completely redundant. I'd be interested in hearing the remaster of uh, the album, although the remastered, um, we've got an idea what that sounds like already, because I think they've just made public um, their version of Brain Damage, which you can uh, go and check out. But um, to be honest with you, I don't think I will shell out for this. £250 at a time when um, people are already struggling is just way, way too much. Um, and as I said, it doesn't really offer me anything that uh, interested. I mean, I would like to have seen perhaps a, a reproduction of the of some of the tour programs that they had around at the time. I had one of them years ago. And that's not in there. I would love to have seen, I've already made my opinion clear about uh, some of the live recordings. I would like to have seen them cleaned up and included in this set. But uh, other than that, there's nothing. I mean, it's one for the audio file. There's no doubt about that in terms of it gives you the vinyl. It gives you the surround sound mixes and the all the DTS, TSB, MFI type stuff that you want. But for me, uh, as a, a an avid Floyd fan, wanted to hear something I hadn't heard. It doesn't really whet my appetite. Anyway, so that's a rather impromptu video just to get that announcement out there. Pink Floyd's 50th anniversary box at the humongous set is on its way at uh, 250 quid currently from Amazon. I'll put a purchasing link just below this video in case you want to uh, part with your money uh, straight away. But I will leave it there. Anyway, are you going to buy it? What do you think of it? Uh, am I just being a miserable old curmudgeon? Um, perhaps, perhaps. Um, anyway, uh, if you haven't already done so, please do like, subscribe, uh, click that notification bell and check some of the links beneath this video for ways you can support sterling work done here at Classic Album Review. It's always much appreciated. I will leave you with my closing salvo, which is hope you're well, staying safe, but more importantly, that you keep listening.